Today I'm in the Technique and Artistry book for level 2B and I am looking at changing lanes and turning corners. These are two separate exercises that use the same concept. So we are going to be moving between a one chord and a four chord in C for the right hand and the left hand. So let's first talk about a one chord and a four chord R. So this is the one chord for C and for a four chord, we just move the top two notes up one. In the left hand, we play 5-3-1 for the one chord and 5-2-1 for the four chord. Now, another thing I wanna talk about is the difference between a blocked and a broken chord. A blocked chord is all stacked up, played together. I think of it like if you stack Legos together in a tower, it's kind of like a tower. A broken chord is when we play one note at a time, it can go up or down. And so this would be like if you had Legos standing next to each other instead of stacked up. Or, so in changing lanes, we're going to be playing blocked chords and in turning corners, we're going to be playing broken chords. We'll start with changing lanes with the right hand. I'm going to play it once. You'll notice that I held my C down for a long time. That is notated in the music right here. That C stays down, it's tied for 12 beats, and then at the end you play it with the chords. You'll also notice that there was a dotted half note rhythm. So I'm going to count it out this time and you can play it with me. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, rest, four chord. One, two, and three, rest now. One chord, four chord, and all together. Try it one more time with me. One, two, Ready, go. One, two, and three. Now four chord. One, two, and three. Now one chord. One, two, four. And all together. The left hand is going to do the same thing. Remember that when you play a four chord in the left hand, you use two and one. So that is a difference. with me one time. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, rest. One, two, and three, rest. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's changing lanes. Let's take a look at turning corners. In turning corners, we're going to be breaking up the chord and we're playing them descending instead of ascending. So that's a little bit different than normal. These top two lines are for the right hand. These bottom two lines are for the left hand. Let's look at the right hand first. In the right hand, we start with a one chord, then a four chord, two of each, then we go to one of each. One, four, again, one, four. Hold the C down and bring in a one chord with the top two notes. Try it with me. This is in three, four times, so we're going to count three beats in. Ready, set, Go one chord, again, two four chords, one of each, again, hold the C down and bring in the last two notes. Great. Let's take a look at the left hand. It does the same thing. We're going to start with a one chord twice, two four chords, then one of each. Again. Hold the C and bring in the top two notes. Try it with me. Ready, set, go. One chord. One chord. Four chord. Four chord. One chord. Four chord. Again. One chord. Four chord. Hold the C and bring in the other two notes. That's how you play changing lanes and turning corners.